the wild update. <laughs> the wild update sounds very, very intriguing. So what Indeed. does it encompass? So the word wild mainly means like two things for us. So the first thing is like beautiful nature. And the second thing is like really scary challenges and adventures. Oh, that sounds awesome. And so I can't wait. Oh, wow. I'm confused. Is this going to be a biome? They're playing on Java. I just want to, just, I just want to say, I just want to point that out. They're playing on Java because it's the best version out there. Okay, so this update looks like, I don't actually know if you get any new blocks. Wait, these are all the old blocks. They're just putting it into a building that they've made. They generated. Right? And one of them actually is something called a skull catalyst. And the main thing about the skull catalyst is it's actually what causes the skull to spread. As you can see here, whenever a mob dies, such as a zombie, near the skull catalyst, it actually spreads skulk underneath it and the amount is based on how much xp that zombie would have dropped wow so huh. you know the deep dark it's kind of overgrown with all these skulk blocks so that means that lots of mobs must have died there quite a lot yes <laughs> that's <laughs> it that's oh and as you can see here when you mine some of the skulk blo blocks you actually get enchanting points Yes, and of course, if you still want to get some of the blocks for decoration or something, you can just use a silk touch. That's sick. And then we have the Skulk Shrieker. <laughs> so when this block is activated, mm -hmm, it's going to give that really scary shriek sound that you hear, heard now. And it also gives this darkness effect, so it's like pulsating darkness. That would be good for scary, like, like making something scary. Even see now when you're sneaking and you step on a skulk sensor, even sneaking it will activate. Wow, That's okay, it. definitely not a friendly family. No. And I will <laughs> say The warden, is this a prison now? Wait, isn't he isn't he the person who's blind? That looks sick. The effect. Oh my god, that looks sick. Isn't... Isn't that the... Blind... Isn't that the blind guy they... They released last week? Last... Last season? Last season. It is, right? Yeah, because he... He literally... Yeah, okay. I'm not really dead because I'm not actually playing. <laughs> if I was playing, I'd probably be, be, be more scared. Oh my god, that damage. So as you can see here, this is a propagule. And propagules grow from mangrove trees. They're actually like ready to grow uh, mangrove, mini mangroves growing from the mangrove. And you can see here, the mangrove tree grows propped up on root blocks. It uh, has vines hanging down from the leaves. The propagules That's are sick. actually growing underneath the leaves. They actually grow from the leaves themselves. And I really like how the propagules are looking here. That looks and, okay, sick. Okay, I'm just going to nerd out on yes. propagules. We get so many questions from the community like, will there be a new wood type? <laughs> and and therefore we're so happy that we were able to add the new wood type for the mangroves. It really looks like jungle look wood. I think it's really pretty. And you also Slightly. don't see like all the blocks here. It's going to be oh. like a full set. For the retypes, they're going to be like doors and trapdoors and so on. 
That's okay. gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, do something really cool. Yeah, so we're adding really cool renewability mechanics to mud. The first of which is if you take a dirt block and pour a water bottle on it, then you can get more mud. And then the other one is if you take your mud block and you stick it on top of the dripstone, it will sort of like drip the water out of the mud and eventually dry it out, which turns into clay. So I love the renewable clay. So you can get clay, clay like quick easier work, now. So perfect. Yeah, your local mason isn't going to be super happy with you though. <laughs> That's actually true. I, I oh have yeah, this I one mason. That so mud bricks are really, really oh exciting like building block. And as you can see here, the, the brick texture is actually different than the other stone bricks that we have in the game. Yeah. So they're sort of smaller, more compact, but it is really cool like to build with. It matches a lot of different block sets and I, I'm really excited to build with them. Yeah. I can't I wait to build with them I just love the well. look of them. They're awesome. So beautiful. So the main reason that I wanted to add mud bricks to the oh, game why? is that I really wanted people to feel like, they're okay, all around the world, there are houses built out of mud bricks. So many people around the, the world have houses, buildings True. using mud bricks. And I really wanted people who are True. playing Minecraft to feel like they could build their home and feel like they're at home in Minecraft. Rocks are being added. Hog. That's sick. Oh, I love the way that whether that's cool does that. That's sick. So you can see them Pog. roaming around, adding a lot of ambience to the swamp, making it feel just nice and cozy at night. But really, my favorite part of them is just making the world come to life, like yeah. feeling like there is life going on all around you. And <gasps> oh yeah, also their frog food. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to mention that. They're frog food. <laughs> Poor That's Pog. Yes. Yeah. Pog. Yeah, as you can see here. So the frogs have kind of like two main systems. One is the tadpole system and the other one is the cold-blooded system. So the frogs are like the first cold-blooded animal in Minecraft. And in real life, there actually are frog variants that... So let's say you were venturing out into the desert or the jungle and you take your, your tadpole with you. And if it grows the up there, it'll turn into a lovely tropical frog. And I, what I really love about the tropical frogs is how just relaxed they look. And they're like blending into the oh sand almost. They're just so relaxed. Just chilling there. Yeah. 